morning all here's another wee lesson for you um this was a special request that somebody asked um on the stevie lawrence and fiona cuthle facebook page so i thought i used to play this tune a lot about 20 years ago and um haven't really done it very much since then so i'll give it a bash it's um the scottish name for it is twa bonnie maidens but it's actually also called planksty george brabazan um, now there's various different keys that this can be played in and the version that I used to play is quite different to this one but I've looked online and the most common key I can find it written in is G so I'll just do it in G anyway um, so I'll play you the tune just so you can hear it so. There's lots of nice little ornaments you can do. You can mess about with the dynamics and the bowing and all sorts of stuff. So there's lots to keep you busy. So I'll just try and teach you the notes very slowly. Um, so cause we're playing in G, our, um, on the E string, our first fingers and second fingers are close together. There's also a fourth finger you'll have noticed, which is a big space away from your third finger. So. And on the um, A string, the finger spacing is the same as well, so your second finger is close to your first finger. Don't worry too much about the bowing. I think the best thing here is for you to try and work out your own bowing because there's so many different versions I could be here all day. Um, basically, it's not a tune that's very much down up down up down up all the time try to put in a few slurs make it nice and smooth and gentle and whatever feels comfy to you will be fine so from the top i'm going to start on an up bow and slur the two first notes because they are kind of upbeat so it starts second finger in the e string so one two three So there we've got our third finger on the A string and then you're going on to third finger on the G string so you just lift your finger up and move it across so from the top
first half. I think maybe the first time I did it, I did one note a bit differently, so go with the second version. So the second half is the bit with the um, fourth finger in. So it, again, it's got an up bow, so one, two, three. we did in the first half. this tune there's lots of opportunities to do vibrato if you want to learn how to do that if you just search on my channel for how to do vibrato on the violin there's a whole lesson on that um, I'll just show you a couple of the ornaments so I'll start from the very start so so there instead of just going I played the note beneath the one I wanted first and then the, the real note so and then when you have a rundown, when you have a rundown going that's a really good opportunity to put um, a little roll in. So, so and the way I do that, I start I'm starting on the second finger and then I'm going second, third, two, one, open, three, so So when you're doing the roll off to the next, you keep those fast notes to the very, very end. So, so, so make sure you give time for the first note, the proper note in the tune to actually sing out first before you put the ornaments on. So you can do that at the start as well. You can connecting it onto the next note you always slur the two notes together or else it won't work and then on to the next phrase nothing really there next phrase again the note beneath then the note with your second or your third finger. So here I'm playing first finger on the A string and then if I do a roll on the second finger the notes would be but I, I often use my third finger because it seems to just work faster than my second so and because the notes are so fast you shouldn't really actually hear the ornament notes that you put in it's just a, an effect so that's with the second finger and that's with the third finger so you don't really notice the difference it's whatever works best for you so and there I did a wee, a wee um, slide up so you just put your finger where a B flat goes on that note and you would slide up quite quickly onto a B we don't want any you don't have time for that and it's not that, that kind of tune so it's just a tiny little touch okay so that's all of the wee ideas you can try about and um, you can try and copy some of my bowing if you like or work out your own I'm going to play it again now because this is the kind of tune that you can actually not make 
variations and things, but add in extra notes if you feel like it, if you want to make it a bit more complicated. Um, so you might play it quite straight the first time and then the second time you play it, add in some extra notes, passing notes and things. So I'll play it now the more complicated way. Now I'm making this up on the spot, so hopefully <laughs> it works okay. Here we go. relaxing tune for a Sunday morning. Have fun, happy practicing. Any questions just put them in the comments and I'll try and get back to you. Bye bye!